thank you for joining this session to listen to the UK companies. Uh, I'm Unmesh Sahasrabate. I lead the engineering and product teams at Universal Quantum. Uh, we are a company based in Brighton, which is a seaside town a few miles south of London. Uh, we were founded uh, about three, over three years ago by two physicists at University of Sussex, and we aim to build the world's most powerful quantum computers. The, let's look at this problem space now. Uh, we, uh, we, sorry, can you hear me when I'm moved here? Okay. We, so, so there's been a lot of research in the industry, uh, in, in, in the industry as well as, uh, like you might have heard some talks yesterday, that we need thousands of like very high quality qubits, uh, near perfect qubits to solve some of the most vexing problems in the quantum computing industry. So, uh, but the error rates needed on those are around like 10 raised to minus 12 or so. And when you look at the state of the art, it is around uh, 10 raised to minus 3, 10 raised to minus 4 in terms of the error rates. So one of the techniques that we use is uh, the quantum error correction, where you can use uh, like thousands of logical qubits to convert into like, uh, uh, like you, you, you use millions of physical qubits and then transform them into a few thousand logical qubits with lower error rates. And so, uh, that number is not set in stone. Uh, there are still avenues to continue to reduce that number. One is uh, continued improvements in the quantum error correction techniques that look into like, uh, either connectivity uh, that go beyond nearest neighbor. And secondly, like, we can just as an industry continue to improve the error rates on the physical qubits. So we, we aim to tackle the problems uh, that uh, require uh, like that large scale number of qubits, and, and that's what we are aiming for as a company. And our founders, even before they formed the company, like over 15 years, they have been focused on scalability. What they are looking for, uh, have been looking for, is how do you build a tap tie on technology that can scale very rapidly? And with that, they have landed on an approach, and our approach has three elements to it. One is a microchip that provides like full connectivity for all qubits within that microchip. Second element of that is we use uh, global microwave fields uh, to do, perform our gates, so we don't use lasers that are directed towards specific ions. Uh, and, and, the way, uh, and then the way we move ions in and out of resonance compared to like, uh, of these global fields is by applying voltages into that chip. So the control for the chips is locally driven by the electronics that are classically manufactured and built. And, and we just have a handful of global microwaves, whether we are operating on, say, like 10 qubits or 10 million qubits, it's the same number. And, uh, and lastly, we have super, like interconnects, uh, and let's dig a little deeper into that. Uh, we use electric fields uh, to shuttle across the uh, various modules. And these electric fields is the same thing that we use to shuttle ions, ions within a module as well. Uh, so we have done experiments, and we have determined that the speeds or the quality of these shuttling is like really these are non-issues for us. So as you can imagine, you can take a tile, like a tile, like an A module, then just tile it in multiple dimensions, have like equal interconnect speeds as across within a module and across modules, apply global microwave fields, and then we can scale very, very rapidly. And, and so what we are working towards is building uh, this uh, quantum processor, but, but also like the necessary uh, control systems as well as the software frameworks so that we can make it accessible to our users over cloud. We continue to look across partnerships, uh, research partnerships as well as commercial partnerships across the industry, so do get in touch with us for those, and thank you. <laughs>